Okay, in the motor effect, what we have is a current carrying wire that's been placed into a magnetic field. This creates a force on the current carrying wire. Why does this happen? Firstly, we can look at the magnetic field of the, uh, of the magnet that's already there. It doesn't have to be a permanent magnet, it can be any magnetic field that's already there. And then the magnetic field around the current carrying wire itself. So here you can see the current is, if you use the right hand corkscrew ruler, the current is going out to the page and is creating this field around it. If you put the current carrying wire in the magnetic field, you can see that the top parts here, they add up, making the field stronger here, while at the bottom parts, they subtract because they're going in opposite directions. So here, you can see they're going in opposite directions, so they subtract. And now the interaction of the, these two magnetic fields creates a force that's pushing the wire downwards. Fleming's left hand rule helps us find the direction of the force. What you need to get firstly is your left hand and get your first finger, second finger and thumb perfectly at right angles to each other. And once you've done that, the first finger will represent the field. You can think first field. The second finger represents the current. Second current. Okay, and the thumb represents the motion movement or really it represents the force. So let's apply it here. So you can see here, the field is going towards the right, goes from north to south, and the current is going from positive to negative, like this. So you need to trace out like this. So if we align our first finger with the field and the second finger with the current, then you can see the force is upwards, like that. Now, because we're dealing with a three-dimensional problem on a 2D piece of paper, we have a notation that helps us figure out what, what's going on. So as you can see, if you see an arrow coming flying at you, what you'd see is a tip. So this represents out of the page. While if you see the arrow leaving, going into the page, then you'd see the feathers of it. So you'd see a cross like that. So what we want you to do is I want you to pause and try this one yourself. So you need to practice quite a bit. So what you should have is a few, uh, first finger going into the page and your second finger going towards the right, and this should give you a force of upwards. Now the uh, first field is coming out of the page, the first thing coming out of the page, so, um, the second finger should be going towards the right, what you have is again the force is upwards. Now the current, the second finger is going out to the page, and the first finger down, so this gives you a force towards the right. Okay, now the thumb should be going towards the left and the first finger downwards so your second finger should be going into the page so the current is into the page. Now what you have is a, a thumb going towards the bottom right, the first finger going towards the bottom left and that gives you your second finger coming out of the page so the current is out of the page. Now your current set, second finger should be going into the page and your force, uh, the first thing, uh, sorry, is thumb going towards the top right. So that gives you your first finger pointing towards the top left. The field is to the top left. Okay, now in this one here is a bit more tricky. So you have your second finger going upwards and your uh, uh, left uh, first finger going towards the uh, top right. So this is a bit more tricky because they're not perfectly at right angles to each other. So what really happens here is only this component will contribute towards the force. So the force is still, uh, in this case, uh, into the page, but it's, only, it's going to be a bit smaller because it's only this component of the field here that's perpendicular to the current, which is going to contribute. Okay, now the current is going into the page and the direction of the field is also into the page. In this case, there's no force at all. And uh, that's because they're par parallel to each other. If they're parallel to each other, there's no force. Even if this uh, car, uh, the field was coming out of the page, then it still would matter. They're still parallel to each other, so there wouldn't be any force.